joined Blues, it was under Gary Rowett. Um, so what was your relationship kind of like with him at the time? Not good. Really? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. Because so Gary, so Gary was at Burton, right? Mm -hmm. So I signed um, for uh, Paul Pisca Salido um, at, at Burton. He signed me and Gary Rowett was the assistant. And I was coming from, I was coming from Spurs. I was a little bit on like, on the brink of like, I, I, I kind of did what I want at, like, at the time. Like I was young, like I did, I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't really listen to, to, to many people. Um, and, you know, I, I had a little bit of an, of an attitude, even Spurs had a little bit of an attitude and it, it also, it, it wasn't good. I'm not saying that it's, it's a good thing. It, it also was almost like I felt a lot of, of disappointment not having played at Tottenham. So like I kind of carried a little bit of that, like a little bit of anger with me when I left. Um, and then, you know, I went to Burton, Gary was the assistant and me and him didn't get on. Like we literally didn't get on. Like there's certain, there's, there's a few times where, you know, like he, it, 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 like my, my work rate was never as it was at Birmingham. Like I, I always thought, you know, as a winger, I was just like, listen, just give me the ball and I'll take on players and I'll go and assist or I'll go score. That, that's what I thought football like at the time. It's not what I thought football was, but when I watched the top players, like the, you know, the higher you go, I think the less work you probably may have to do in those in those areas, mm -hmm. especially playing out wide. Um, you're more so criticised if you don't score and assist. But I think the lower down you go, I think work rate comes into it. And I think that's where me and him clashed. Um, and then, you know, he, he then took over. Um, we had a chat, many chats, some good, some bad. Um, so there's some disciplinary actions, some, some were good, you know. And then, you know, we sat down, you know, we worked out our differences. And then, we, like, he really became like, like a mentor to me. Um, you know, I, I, I got... To, to, a, to an age I was like 23 24 and you know I kind of I was starting to get like to to mature a little bit more I was starting to understand things a lot more um life became a lot more clearer to me like what I wanted to do where I wanted to go and we sat down and we spoke about these things and um, not only that I think he really helped me like with even with things like my in my personal life you know with family and you know with kids and whatnot and yeah, we kept we kept in good in in good contact. Um, I ended up scoring that that season. I ended up scoring eighteen goals, fourteen assists. Um, I got in the team of the year, player of the season, and whatnot. And then got my move to Sheffield Wednesday, and you know I kept in contact with him. Ended up playing Birmingham um, in my last year. Spoke to him after the game. And the conversation was literally brief. Is that like, what you're doing this summer? I was, I was like, well, I'm out of contract. Like, I'm going to sign for Birmingham. And he, he just laughed and he's like, I'll give you a message in the summer. <laughs> but it was just like a, a friend, like the, a conversation that we'd normally have. And, and yeah, and in the mm -hmm. summer, he ended up messaging me and I messaged back. And he said, yeah, listen, do you want to sign here? And I was just like, yeah, sure. Like, of course. Yeah. Yeah, and like it, it was easy as that. He wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna speak to your agent and whatnot. He, like it was just conversation between us two. Um, and you know, my my dad's always re represented me like throughout my career anyway. So mm -hmm. I'll just say like, Dad, like, like I'm gonna sign at Birmingham. Like Gary's messaged me. Well, he's just like, yeah, okay, cool. Um, so yeah, that that's how it went. It was easy as that. The reason why as well is because Damari Gray was supposed to go to Leicester that season, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was, I, I was, I was supposed to come in and almost be like a backup, a replacement if he goes. He ended up not going. That's why, you know, for the first, I'll say, three, four months of the season, I didn't play until he left to go um, to Leicester in January, mm -hmm. and then I started playing more regularly. Um, but yeah, so like I was, I, I was supposed to come in to kind of mm -hmm. be, you know, um, a backup to that. But you know, he ended up working working out well, and you know, he he's one my he's one of my favorite manager, if not my favorite. Mm. Um, it's him, um, Paul Piscasolido and Gary Monk. I'll probably put in the top three, but I'll definitely put Gary as number one because throughout my career, he's helped me so much. Um, mm. and you know, I still keep in contact with him now, so which is, um, which is mm. good.
So mm. were you quite surprised? Because us as Blues fans at the time, when Browett was sacked, I mean, I think it was after the Ipswich game, I want to say. We were, what, mm. seventh in the league? Something like that. Zach, so stop talking. Stop talking. I, but, sad. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm still fuming. But, but were, were you surprised? Because I was, I was calling up my dad and I was like, wow, it's been sad. What, what's going on? Was it surprising for you as a player? Yeah, we 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 thought it was banter at first. Like we thought it was just like because yeah. he, he's he, like sometimes he'll pull banter and whatnot. Like we just thought, oh, come on, like stop messing about. Like literally in the canteen, um, having having dinner and come like just like yeah, um, lads, that's it. You know, I'm not gonna be here. Um, I'm going. I'm gone. It was like so everyone like eating. They just like looking at him. It was like what, what are you talking about, man? Like stop messing about. Like we were flying. Like we were having a very, very good, like we had a good start to this season. Team spirit was good. You know, the fans were like buzzing. Um, the 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 city was was you know was buzzing, and we were just like, uh, we couldn't believe what was going on. We we had no clue that it was going to happen. We had there was no reason for it to happen, and you know I think it was a mistake that the club definitely definitely regrets because I think. If he if he had stayed, I think we would have definitely been, you know, in the playoffs. Mm. Like hundred percent, we'd definitely been in the playoffs because we had we had a good squad. Like the team, everything was just going well um, in the team. And if he had stayed, uh, I can I can only think that you know we definitely would have done really well. Mm. Yeah, I just it was absolutely heartbreaking at the time for me. I just remember coming back from school and just seeing that. Gary Rowett's been sacked on Sky. I just thought, what the yeah. fuck's gone on there? That's insane. 